Hi, today we are going to create date picker. Let me show you first. If you click the icon, you can select a date and the dates are changing for end date. You clicking it, select the date, automatically changing it. Let's create this date picker. In order to speed up, I will use existing date picker file from Rod Sheets. Let's download existing date picker file first. Let's go to website. Please use the below link. The address is this one. In Rod Sheets website, if you scroll down a bit, you can see this part download now for Excel. Then you can download the Excel file. After that, please unlock the Office BVA security. Once you open the file, it looks like this. I will show you what is the existing form. If you click the show form, there will be user form. In user form, you click the calendar. You can see the calendar. Then the dates are selected. It. Click here. You selecting it. It's showing like that. If you want to use date pick on user form, you actually already have a right solution. Click here, okay. However, you want to have a, this type of date picker, you need the modification. Then let's create new date picker. In order to see VBA code, press Alt F11 button. You are able to go to VBA application. If you click module, double click module one, you are able to see one sub. This means that if you click show form button, automatically user form will show up. The user form will be in here under form. Double clicking it, you are able to see predefined user form, which already seen before. The next part, let's looking into VVA code for user form. Double click one of the icons you are able to enter inside of user form code. There are a lot of codes are already available. Don't worry. What we are going to do is we are taking only necessary parts for our user form. Double click here again. In our case, we don't need all these buttons and OK button also we don't need it, but we only need this calendar part. Double click again. So let's clean up first. Scroll down until the end. You can find user form initializer. Selecting it, control X, put them into on top, control V. What it means of this part is once user click the button show form, then user form activating it. After that, this part is starting it. Build calendar part is coming next. So build calendar means actually we create a new calendar. There you can see looping for 1 to 42, which brings each date on calendar. What we are going to do is let's remove unnecessary part first. We are not going to use text box in user form. We don't need this part. We do need calendar, right? So initializer and calendars are stay as it is. If you go down for text box one and two, we don't need this part. The next one is a show and hide date picker. In this sub, we only need this part. Control C, go back here. Control V, we keep it. Go back again. Let's remove it. Scroll up. We don't need OK button either, deleting it. In case of a day click, we need it. In case of last month and next month, also we need it. OK, we already cleaned up. Let's double click user form one. Let's clean up this part as well. Holding left hand mouse button, selecting the area, press delete button here as well, deleting it. Select this calendar corner and moving it, put it where you want to put. This part, I will put it here. 
like that. In order to change the font color for this part, if you're clicking it, you can see property. In property, go to font, select here. You can see three dots. Click here. You are able to change the font color, font style, and font size as well. Let me change into 18. Click OK. Just selecting it, you can change the wording as well. Please select obey. Go to view tab. Go to toolbox. You are able to get toolbox. In toolbox, there is image. Clicking it, then you drag it. You can create it something like this. After that, click right hand mouse button, send to backward. We have this one. The next part, let's change the color for this one. Go to back color, selecting it. You can choose the color you like it. I will go with highlight. After that, let's select this one, back style. Clicking it, let's select transparent. Go to font color, clicking it, you can change highlight text. Now we can adjust size of user form as well. Selecting it, entire user form, and then you can shrink it as you wish. We are done already. We don't need this one, so close it here. Let's go back to our sheet, check how it will work. Press button, actually updated user form popped up. If I click the date, it shows error. Click debugging, you can see there's error in this part, which means we have to update this part. Let's do it. Go to here, click reset button, double click one of the items. Go back inside. When you do that, automatically creating something like this, simply ignore it. Then let's go to the part which we need to update. This is a date click part. Basically, we don't have this item anymore. Therefore, it creating error, which means that we need a new variable. I create a new variable, control C, Control V here. Let's remove this part, deleting it. The next part, let's printing one of the value on active cell in worksheet for testing purpose. Here, active cell equal to selected date. Okay, let's test it. Go back. I select the cell here, click show form. Then I choose that day. I will close it here. So it's working. Now let's update this part. I will use icon. In my case, it's a 2016 version. So I don't have icon function. However, I prepare Excel icon file like this. So you can download it and use it if you're using old version of Microsoft. I will use this icon, Control C, come here, Control V, and click the icon again, graphic format, graphics fill. You can change the color which you prefer to have. I will go with that color. The next part, I would like to link with macro, click icon again, assign macro, click show form, click OK. If you clicking it and it show up, click the date, new dates are popped up, close it. Let's check 21st of January, correctly printing it. Select the button, deleting it. The next part, we need a start date and end date, right? Let's do it that part. In order to do that, we need a two calendar icon, selecting it. Control C, Control V, then put it into somewhere here. The next part, we need a two text box, one for starting date, one for end date. 
In order to do that, we need a developer tab. Go to insert, go to text box, selecting it, creating one here. There are two possible ways of creating date picker in this time. One is directly link with a cell together with the icon function. So you click the icon and the value printing here, click icon printing value here. However, I prefer to have this approach. The reason is following. If you switch off design mode, then you are able to type something but you are not allowed to change the format or location of the text box. Therefore, I prefer to have this format. I will quickly make this more nicely. In order to do that, you always have to go to design mode first. Then you are allowed to change. Now we complete the format for day picker. Let's add in new VBA for this part and that part. Let's go back to VBA code. Go to module one. Before we just click the showing user form. Now we need uh, two cases, start date or end date. Therefore, let's rewrite it this part. Select removing it, option explicit giving a new variable as MS form text box. We need a two subs, one for starting day, also end day as well. Okay, we created two subs. Let's put it inside some coding. Let's say set our target text box, which we defined above, equal to sheet one, text box one sheet one our text box one will be this one you see text box one if you click this one text box two go developer if you click this one if you click it doesn't show anything anyway let's go back we can do the same thing for end day as well everything is the same but text box two only the next part we are going to show this user form I will use new variable and also save some memory for user form. FRM point show. After that, set FRM nothing means release some memory for that user form. Simply copy this part, control V. Now we separate two user forms, right? When you click calendar icon. The next part, we have to update user form VVA code. Double click here, double clicking it, scroll up. If you go to day click sub, we apply this part for testing purpose, right? We have to update this part, go back to worksheet. Now we have to printing here and here, right? Then we are going to use the public variable, which is target text box dot text and copy selected date. Control V. Let's test it whether it's working or not. Go back. Click. We have an issue because we have to change here. Click. Assign macro. Select start day okay click assign macro end day click clicking it it shows correctly close it clicking it it shows correctly it's working but let's go back double click again so I would like to update this part more error prudent way. If not, target text box is nothing, then, and if, the other part would be, once we select our date, our user form has to be closed, right? So here I will add 
close user form part simply unload me that's it let's go back and testing again click here selecting it click here selecting it so it's working and also the user form is disappearing it so we are almost done as an optional perspective once you use it this format it will be a good idea this value is also printing it somewhere in worksheet as a cell value. Then other parts are easily linked for calculation or filtering. Therefore, I would like to print out start day and also end day somewhere in worksheet. For testing purpose, I will create a new sheet. We will printing start day here, end day here. Then when we calculate something, automatically you can see these values are linked somewhere here. Let's go back to VBA, double click again. Let's go to day click sub. What we have to do is inside of this if statement, we have to create print VBA code. If target text box name is equal to text box one, then sheet two range a1 value equal to selected date else if target text box name is equal to text box 2 then copy this one control c control b a2 then and if it's confusing so select this part press tap then we have two if statements Let's go back to sheet and testing it. Click here. I choose 5. Choose 15. Go to sheet 2. And we have crack value there. So we complete how to create date picker based on existing date picker file. In order to make a short video, I didn't edit error handler part, but you can edit it. I hope this tutorial give you a benefit for your work in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next time.